Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's portion, we are discussing the sixth part of electrostatic and the portion is electrostatic potential. And one more question only we are discussing today also. So first we will go through the theory portion once. Electrostatic potential between two points is defined as the minimum work required to be done by an external force in moving a test charge Q from one point to another. So what is the formula to find out the electrostatic potential difference? Delta V equals W by Q. Unit is volt or in, for this W, joule is the unit. So we can write it as joule per coulomb or we can write it as Newton per coulomb. Okay, any one manner we can write down. Next is electrostatic potential. So electrostatic potential difference means from one point to another point what will be the work done. So electrostatic potential will be minimum work required to carry a unit positive charge from infinity to a particular point. Infinity to particular point when we are considering we will call it as electrostatic potential and between two points while we are considering you will say electrostatic potential difference. Okay, so the definition goes like this. Electrostatic potential at any point in a region of electrostatic field is the minimum work done in carrying a unit positive charge from infinity to that point. Work done in moving a unit positive charge over a closed path in an electric field is zero. Electrostatic field is a conservative field. Electrostatic potential due to a point charge. V equals, this formula is very, very important, okay? V equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, Q by R. So if I am considering a point at infinite or a point at zero, say uh, this distance is zero, what will be the electro potential, electrostatic potential? Or if I am considering the distance as infinity, what will be the electrostatic potential? Electrostatic potential will be zero if I am considering a point at infinity because one by infinity equals zero. Electrostatic potential at a point due to an electric dipole. What will be the electrostatic potential at a point due to a dipole? Dipole is two equal and opposite charges separated by a distance. In that case, potential V equals P cos theta divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r square. So 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is say P cos theta divided by r square. Next is EQ potential surface. EQ potential surface is the surface at every point of which electric potential is say. EQ potential. Potential is say. So what are the properties of this electro EQ potential surface? No work is done in moving the test charge from one point of EQ potential surface to the other. Electric field is always perpendicular to the EQ potential surface. No two EQ potential surfaces intersect each other. EQ potential surfaces are closer in regions of strong electric field and they are far apart in regions of weak electric field. Okay, so now we will go through the questions. So already we did five questions relating to this chapter. So now I am starting with the sixth question. So in the previous video, I think it is a quiz as usual we did for our Sunday quiz series. And before that, I did the I did five questions. So here we are starting with the sixth one. In a certain 0.1 meter cube of space, electric potential is found to be 5 volt throughout. What is the electric field in this region? So volume is given as 0.1 meter cube. Electric potential is given as 5 volt. How we can find out the electric field? Here it is potential is given. So what is the formula relating electric field and electric potential? E equals minus dV by dr. Then at dV equals E dot dl. V equals P 
closed integral e dot dl this and all in theory part we did right so e equals minus dv by dr here potential is same throughout 5 volt throughout so potential is same so what will be the electric field with potential is same what will be dv change in potential is equal to zero therefore electric field will be zero so here you should understand the formula e equals minus dv by dr or we can write it as minus dv by dx anyway okay e equals minus dv by dx so here since v is constant dv will be equal to zero and we will get e as equal to zero clear so the next question is the middle point of a conductor is earth and its ends are maintained at a potential difference of 220 volt. What is the potential at the two ends and at the at the middle point? So here one the middle point of the conductor is earth. If middle point is earth, what will be the potential there? Zero. And its ends are maintained at a potential difference of 220 volt. So at middle point only we are getting uh, this earth and potential is zero. So what will be the uh, potential at the two ends? See, it will be equally distributed, right? Because distance also same. So 220 volt will be equally distributed in both the ends. So if they are equally distributed and the charge also same, then uh, the, so potential difference that uh, sign also same then we won't be getting the 220 volt so here the two ends potential will be 110 volt and the other one minus 110 volt one is positive side and the other is the negative side positive 110 volt minus minus 110 volt will give you 220 volt so at the end points the potential will be 110 volt and minus 110 volt at the middle point since it is earth it will be equal to zero so at the middle point uh, the potential is zero and at the two ends potential is 110 volt and minus 110 volt so the next question is a test charge q is mode without acceleration from a to c along the path from A to B and then from B to C in electric field as shown in figure. So after the figure, I'll read it once more. See here, a test charge Q is moved without acceleration from A to C. Okay, it is moving from A to C without acceleration and along the path from A to B and then from B to C. So it is moving from A to C in which path? First it is moving from A to B and then it is moving from B to C. So it is this movement is in an electric field. Calculate the potential difference between A and C. That means we need to find out BC minus VA potential difference between A and C since it is starting from A and ending at C so BC minus VA we need to find out electric field E is given how we can find out let the electric field be E only okay E and potential difference what is the formula just now we told E equals minus dV by dr so dV how we can find out E into dr will give you the potential, uh, sorry, this potent E into dr will give you the potential difference, dv. So what is the, uh, what is this dr? We need to find out that uh, this uh, displacement from A to C. Here, the starting point is 6 and ending point is 2. Final position minus initial position. So what is the uh, difference uh, displacement? 2 minus 6. So it is minus 4. So minus dv by dr. dr now we got it as negative. So negative and negative will get cancelled, right? So what is the potential difference? It will be equal to 4 times the electric field. So what is the potential difference between A and C? 
4 into E. Now, at what point of A and C is the electric potential is more and why? Which point it will be more? See, if Vc minus Va is a positive quantity. So, which will be more? Vc is more. So, what will be the direction? If we are thinking about the direction, direction of electric field is in the direction of decreasing potential. So, here which is uh, the decreasing potential, Va is less. So electric field is always in the direction of, is given in the, towards A. But there's, like, so we know Vc is greater than Va. So electric field will be, is in the direction of E. That means which is having more potential, Vc is having more potential because electric field direction is given. And we know that direction of electric field is in the direction of decreasing potential and otherwise also you can see from the above theory that Vc greater than Va. So here this is the answer. Potential difference depends uh, does not depend upon the path along which the discharge moves. E equals minus dV by dx. So difference in potential we got it as 4E. So we are getting it as Vc greater than Va. So direction, so which is greater potential, Vc greater than Va. If this is, the above part is not asked also, you can write down like, since the direction of E is in this manner, potential difference will be always acting in the direction of this electric field will be in the direction of decreasing potential. In that way, we can, identify, um, we can find out the answer. Next question. Figure shows the variation of electrostatic potential V with distance x for the given charge distribution from the point mod A, B and C. Identify the point at which electric field is 0 and maximum. When electric field will be 0. See electric field A at the point A you see the electric potential remains the same, right? E equals minus dV by dx. So potential remains same. So change in potential is equal to zero. So at which point this electric field will be zero? At the point A, electric field will be zero. Now, it is at which point it is maximum. Here potential is decreased from B to C, it is decreasing, right? So at B, we are getting the maximum potential. So with, at which point this electric field is maximum? Electric field will be maximum at the point A. So here as E equals minus dV by dx, E is 0 at the point A and E is maximum at the point B. Clear how we are getting at the point B? dV by dx will be less than 0 there. So we can write it as at the point B we will be getting the maximum point. Next question is, a charge plus Q is lying at the center of a circle. What is the work done in carrying the charge Q from A to B where A and B both lie on the circle? So here, a charge plus Q is lying on the center of the circle, at the center of the circle, right? So Q is the charge. So if Q is the charge round the circular path, we can consider it as a same potential, right? So because from the charge, uh, see, suppose if I'm considering R as the radius of the circle, this distance is same on the surface of the circle from the charge. From the charge, distance is same for each and every point on the circle. So potential will be same over there. That is, it, otherwise we can call it as, it is an equipotential surface. In an equipotential surface, what will be the work done? Work done will be equal to zero. We already learned about it, right? So here, the circular path around the charge plus Q in an equipotential surface as A and B lie on the circle. So in a circular path, so the work done, what will be the work done? Answer is not given. So what will be the work done? On EQ potential surface, 
work done is equal to zero okay clear so i think this portion is clear for you and next day we will be coming with a new topic so if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you for watching bye